Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and I'm a makeup artist from New York. Today I have a brand new video for you guys. Today we are doing a MUA reacts to Vogue Beauty Secrets and today we are reacting to Inside Juno Birch's Extreme Beauty Routine. So make sure to keep on watching. <laughs> comment down below what you think about this video and make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button for that youtube algorithm and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to my channel already and also make sure you guys hit that post notification icon so you're notified every single time i drop a brand new video but yeah let's get right into the video so i have one airpod on so i can hear the video but you guys don't hear what i'm hearing <laughs> I'm Juno Birch, wow, a glamorous beautiful. alien woman who crash landed on Earth in 1962. I and since I've been trying to tragically dress like a lady, and <laughs> I'm kind of doing it a bit clumsily. Oh, freaking iconic. <laughs> I love, I would so get the bust. Oh my God, you guys have to check out her Instagram. I'm gonna leave Hello, it in the link down below. I'm Juno Birch, and I'm stunning. I'm now going to take off this mask and become really stunning and purple. I'm feeling like a lavender alien today and it's going to look stunning. <laughs> so I've been chopping my foundation. I love when they say that. I don't know why. And adding purple to make a gorgeous lavender tone. If you guys sealing don't all know, of the human of the makeup today. that they have across the pond is not that great compared to what the we have here. first time I ever painted my so face. A lot of it they have to like, you know, whip together and stuff like that to perfect exactly And I went exactly to drama class. And um, we all had to be like <laughs> characters. And I chose to be the Joker. I wore like bright white makeup and massive red lips. Into the face. <laughs> I felt so stunning. And as a 13 year old boy, I kind of had to hide that at the time. I was just like feeling every oat. <laughs> I'm contouring now with a bit of purple. It's just like regular contouring. Just to make these so cheekbones even bigger. So you're going with a shade of our skin complexion. It's just First time I ever painted myself purple. blue, I was the at a Halloween party. I and stunning. I attempted to be Miss Argentina from Beetlejuice. And I turned out just looking like a crusty Smurf. But now it's just evolved <laughs> into this stunning alien. OK. Really cake this on. RCMA and this is going to like completely pastelize that color. Of course, I've got really bad asthma because. <clears throat> Same. I'm a diva. <laughs> if I put like white here, it makes my nose look really small. Start contouring with different eyeshadows. Oh my god! You guys leave a comment down below if I, I should create this one. If I had to follow this. So tutorial. now and again, <laughs> when I'm not doing drag, I'll be doing a sculpture to pay the rent, of course. A lot of the time, look at the sculptures. They're amazing. Will, like, I wish I could get one. Oh my beauty. god! Very often, I'll, I'll make I'll like a sculpture, sculpture and They're design amazing. a look first, and wow. then do it on myself. I freaking love them. My ideas are like influenced by characters from movies. Rocky Horror, Rocky Horror was Picture one Show. of the things that really hit me as a child. I was just watching all these people really just enjoying themselves and being fabulous, <laughs> no matter what gender they were. Now, I'm gonna add on these beautiful eyebrows. Okay. If I go up like this, she's nasty and she's a bitch, but then when I drag it down, she's nice again. <laughs> I've mixed like a very, very, very pale blue, and I'm gonna she's mark gonna out highlight this brow. Under the brow. When I was a kid, I would draw really exaggerated women with like massive breasts and like really long hair and high heels and that was my way of escapism and it was kind of like the femininity I lacked and craved as a child. I, I just drew it out on paper because that was my way of coping oh with being the trapped in the wrong amazing. body. When I was younger, I used to think, you know, drag is a just lot a man of in a dress. They wear the so gloves when they me do being trans, so I was like, there's no way I could do drag. I think there's like a misconception that drag queens are only men, but actually anybody can do drag. Anybody can Trans do women drag. can do drag, cis women can do drag, cis men can do drag, anybody can do drag. I've fucked up this brow a little bit, but... <laughs> Me. <laughs> we can fix it, it's fine. 
Since I've moved to Manchester, oh, I've you. felt so welcomed by all of the queens here. Everybody's just so nice. And um, there's like a really strong community here. I'm gonna do some really stunning lips now. Really big. Jennifer Coolidge <laughs> lips. <laughs> From American Pie. I like to kind of extend it at the sides so that it looks like I'm going. She gives me that Urgh. Jennifer Coolidge vibe. This is of Jennifer Coolidge. Oh, there's a statue of her? Oh, wow. Fiona <laughs> in the movie Cinderella Story. Jennifer oh, okay. is like an icon and I absolutely love her. How Meryl Streep and Goldie Hawn in Death Becomes Her when they're literally falling to pieces. That kind of character where they're really fabulous but like really tragic. That's what really inspires most sculptures. It's kind of like the alien woman has been dragged through a hedge and she's stunning. <laughs> so now that I've got this on, we're gonna make this even more stunning with some like white foundation in the middle. Of course. And make course. it a lot paler. Make it a lot poutier. And make as it well. look like I have had Got so much Botox. <laughs> oh. oh, I look so stunning. <laughs> <clears throat> but beauty is pain. I'm gonna put some white on my eyelids. It's gonna blend that out. This is one of my sculptures that I made. And the color that oh I'm doing today God, is that basically based so on her. Oh my God, that one's so freaking awesome. Look at that booty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking freaking just a little one. subtle wing today. Beautiful, natural, 60s flicks. Okay. Sometimes if I make a right Damn, she finessed that wing. Just cover it with a big fat lash. I absolutely love 60s eye makeup, but I love 60s sunglasses even more because you know, when you see photos of women from the 60s wearing those sunglasses, they actually look like aliens with the big, massive beehive hair, <laughs> big cat eyes. Mars Attacks. Mars Attacks is like one of my biggest inspirations for like my looks is because it's like an alien in disguise. Like the huge, massive oh, hair, hiding the brain, and like, look, look, look. <laughs> Have the slightest <laughs> fucking thing what she's saying. What the heck? She's going on. Okay. Let me out. Wings stunning. Are looking pretty stunning. Oh, beauty marks. Just oh, one. that's clumpy. Oh, <laughs> my eyeball gone black. Stunning. <laughs> Eyelash glue. Just snipping them a little bit shorter because I like them to go like out and not too much on the inside. Oh, it looks stunning already. That second lash going on. Oh shit! And two lashes. On. So a lot of the time on my sculptures or on my makeup, I'll do stubble dots or highlight the Adam's apple, big broad shoulders, celebrations of trans bodies. For such a long time, I was insecure about my Adam's apple, my deep voice, um, and that's kind of like a celebration of like my trans journey and, and kind of made me a beautiful alien. Now I'm Love gonna that. do a bit of highlighting. This makes <laughs> That's my favorite part, that she's artificial. like highlighted in person, artificially. I love that, oh wow. Stunning. My makeup's done now. So all I've got to do now is put my wig on. And some sunglasses. And my sunglasses of and my course. fabulous outfit. She reminds me of, um... Damn, I can't remember what her name is. Her name is Linda. <laughs> Look. She goes shopping in yes, the supermarket Linda. for... Human groceries. Okay. She's stunning. And I love that the She's highlights on her glasses too. The bag of loaf, the bread She's loaf a bag. Stunning <laughs> alien. It's a bag of bread. It's a. It, she likes to it's go a to bag the of bread. But and it's a buy bag of bread. Lots of vegetables. <laughs> it's a bread bag, but it's a bag of bread. I don't know. I'm thinking of it too much. Stunning. Milk. What the heck? The EU milk is so weird. Two big melons. <laughs> Maybe some aerial washing powder. Okay. Who knows? All household things um, that will make her look like she's kind of blending in. <laughs> she has places to go. Can I get she has a bag, things please? to do. I'm not she has a family to feed. So, <laughs> my darling. <laughs>
<laughs> She's like, I'm on board Beauty Secrets. Have a good one. <laughs> that was a whole mood. Is that it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all it. Oh wait, there's more to come. This is a customer announcement. Juno Birch speaking here. Just to let you all know, there is a special offer on Extreme Beauty today. Okay. So make way, darlings. <laughs> She's like, come down to customer service if you look like shit. This is funny. None of them have the Andro credits like this. Most of them just end. Thank you, Vogue.com. You've been stunning. <laughs> Had to get one more in there. Uh, also, Helen, there is a spillage on aisle five. Can you please clean it up? Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> Somebody freaking saw Helen to go clean that shit up. Uh, that was hilarious. Um, what else could I say? She was stunning. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that reaction video to the Vogue Beauty Secrets. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys hit that like button. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my podcast, Deek the Podcast. I'll leave a link in the description down below. There's a brand new episode every single week. It's available everywhere podcasts are streaming on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, as well as SoundCloud and Anchor. So make sure to check that out. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.